alarmed when you hear this sound today. No, nothing's coming our way today. That's a statewide tornado drill that's planned for 9:50 this morning. It's a test of uh, National Severe Weather Preparedness Week, and you are encouraged to review your emergency plans, practice tornado and fire drills, and update your emergency kits. Tornado season in Ohio runs April through July. Now we don't have any severe weather coming our way, but we do have some weather coming our direction. As Storm Team 2 meteorologist Carly Smith joins us, uh, not a lot of rain. Not a lot of rain, but it'll be raining periodically from the afternoon into Thursday morning. Yeah, which is something for everybody going to the first four tonight to consider when they go to uh, UD Arena. Yeah, you'll probably want a rain jacket yeah. or a hood yeah. to get you between your car and the arena. But Here's a look at tornado terminology. We talked about the statewide tornado drill just a second ago. And so in a real situation, these are the words you'll want to be looking for. A watch will be issued usually first. That means it's time to be prepared. The atmospheric conditions are favorable for tornadoes to form later into the day. Uh, then a warning will be issued and that means it's time to take action. So during the watch, make sure you know what you're going to do if a warning is issued. Once that warning is issued, take action. That means a tornado has been spotted or indicated by the radar and that could turn into a dangerous situation. So you'll want to take shelter in that safe spot that you're hopefully going to test out later today at 9.50. Right now, though, on our Choice Stouter Center camera, you can see Cloudy conditions as you're waking up this morning. That's going to be the trend throughout the day today. We do see a chance for showers as spring arrives. It's going to happen at 5:58 p.m. today. The seasons are the reason for the weather, and here's why. You have to look out into outer space. This is why there's an exact time that spring officially starts. It has to do when the sun's rays, the center of the sun is directly over the equator. That's what marks the change into spring. And this day is kind of cool because we get about 12 hours of daylight across the entire globe. That's going to be from the Arctic Circle to the Antarctic Circle and everywhere in between. So pretty cool. As far as our weather goes, we're not going to see a ton of sunlight. We're going to see cloud coverage increasing through noon. And then by 5 p.m., we do add some rain showers. It's going to start off isolated and then become a little bit more scattered as we head into the evening. And overnight, some of that rain will become more widespread. Moderate rainfall is possible, but you can see we're missing those yellows and reds. So we're not expecting heavy rainfall. It'll mostly just be light. Some isolated areas could see close to an inch of rain. Most of us will stay around half an inch or less. And heading into Thursday morning could make for a wet commute. And Friday morning, we're mostly just looking at cloud coverage. Right now, temperature is 27 in Troy, 33 in Dayton, 29 in Xenia as you're headed out the door this morning. Satellite and radar imagery showing some clouds. Your day cast, we are going to warm those highs into the 50s despite having rain in the forecast today. 53 degrees your high tonight, 36 degrees, and tomorrow we take the high a little cooler, 46 degrees. For Storm Team 2 7 8 forecast, we are going to be in the 40s Thursday and Friday, but we warm things back up for the weekend with more sunshine in store. So it's looking like a good weekend, even though we have.